I've come to expect a bit of, shall we say, derision from media outlets and your garden variety PC gamers when it comes to anything Linux. So I wasn't surprised to see headlines like this reporting the removal of the Steam machines from the Steam navigation menu as the death note of SteamOS. But, <laughs> but what I didn't expect was to see Valve respond. Hi, I'm Gardner, the Linux Gamer, and let's talk about this. While it's true Steam machines aren't exactly flying off the shelves, our reasons for striving towards a competitive and open gaming platform haven't significantly changed. We're still working hard on making Linux operating systems a great place for gaming and applications. We think it will ultimately result in a better experience for developers and customers alike, including those not on Steam. I would say that's a pretty interesting comment. Valve is working on making Linux a great operating system. Why? Well, it's because they believe that it'll result in a better experience for everyone, not just their customers. And hell yeah, that's true, and it's refreshing to hear from Valve, especially when they can be pretty quiet and a bit slow moving when it comes to uh, this kind of stuff. Man, I'm covered in warm tingles now. The post goes on to say, Through the Steam Machines initiative, we've learned quite a bit about the state of the Linux ecosystem for real-world game developers out there. We've taken a lot of feedback and have been heads down on addressing these shortcomings we've observed. And I'd say there's evidence to back this up. I mean, Valve have released both a beta and a stable version of SteamOS so far this year. And for a project that was proclaimed dead three years ago, that's a rather healthy showing, I'd say. We think an important part of that effort is our ongoing investment in making Vulkan a competitive and well-supported graphics API, as well as making sure it has first-class support on Linux platforms. We also have other Linux initiatives in the pipe that we're not quite ready to talk about yet. SteamOS will continue to be our medium to deliver these improvements to our customers, and we think they will ultimately benefit the Linux ecosystem at large. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm personally quite interested in what Valve are up to, especially when it comes to those other Linux initiatives that he was talking about. Now, if you haven't seen it, I made a video speculating about exactly what I think Valve are up to. You can find a link here. Now, I did reach out to Pierre Liu, the author of this post, for further comment, and unfortunately he wasn't able to give an interview at the moment. It's worth mentioning at this point that Linux is a collaborative effort. Thousands of people from so many companies all over the world contribute to the Linux kernel in order to make it better and more versatile. What I find interesting about Valve contributing to and pushing Linux forward is their motivation. They're one of a small group of companies who believe in Linux as an end user experience and push it as such. And as a Linux desktop user, that's something I find commendable. But I wanna know what you think. Have you read the entire post? Are you satisfied with SteamOS's progress? Leave me a comment and let me know. I wanna take a moment and thank everyone who linked this post to me. Uh, Raven67854 and at no life or name on Twitter. If you wanna share news with me, you can hit me up on Twitter at the Linux Gamer, or you can join my Discord server. There's a link down in the description. If you believe in the work that I do, you can support the show over on Patreon and LibrePay. Becoming a monthly contributor helps immensely. You can also hit that like button and share this video with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to see more from me, the Linux Gamer. Thanks for watching.